The Oba, clad in a red ceremonial robe, engaged the dancing floor with white ivory gunk, which is struck a word of evil forces that might be hovering around any part of Benin Kingdom. <laughs> This was after the Sogma of Benin, Chief David Edebi, who is also known as the Odionwe, had performed the necessary rites that drove away evil spirits from Benin to Udo and thereafter prayed for the Oba and left the scene without turning back. After Esogban's departure, Obaiwai II, in company with Chief Ihama and Chief Ohaza from Ihogwe and Iwebo Guilds, exhibited a grand cultural dexterity during the spiritual rejuvenation and fortification, while Ugbelaka Royal Drama supplied the needed impetus and rhythm for the dances. <laughs> In a real display of royalty and splendor, the Oba of Bene, with his ceremonial sword, also known as Ebe, and ancestral staff, proceeded to the Edion Eda's porch, adjacent area of his palace, where he paid tribute to his ancestors and offered prayers. A crowd of cultural enthusiasts flocked around to catch a glimpse and sang oration to the Oba, who had communicated with the royal drums. Before he proceeded to Oga Ozola in his palace, we also paid tribute to God and his ancestors. Uge Emaba ceremony is also used to remember Prince Idobo, popularly known as Arwan, the general prince of Udo in Ovia Southwest local government area, and Prince Osawe, who later became Oba Esige in 1504 in the contest for the Great Benin Throne. Both of them were children of Oba Ozora, who reigned in Benin Kingdom at about 1481 AD. Wellensiama reporting.